solo. Let's go and commentary again. What is up, folks? My name is Gun Commentary, and today I'm not gonna make a review of Overwatch 2. I'm gonna save that for a little bit, uh, but I will one day. <laughs> uh, today we're actually gonna talk about something that is even more fucked up than Overwatch 2, and we're gonna talk about how YouTube actively allows <laughs> files, kind of, and how the whole dream the situation. So we're gonna bring up the topic of <laughs> and. I pray to God that Satan has the whole censoring tools ready today because he's going to censor. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. We're, we're starting off with Dream, our good friend, the green masked man himself who's no longer masked. So what is the situation? Well, there was a girl on Twitter who was 17 year old and we're gonna and she and Dream started talking online. and. We're gonna call the girl Anastasia because that is the name she went with in public at least. And she showed videos of Dream actively texting with her in a very sexual manner. They did... it was a form of grooming. And that was what the video showed. And however, we're not... we're gonna... we don't know too much about the situation yet. However, the thing is, Dream is 20, she was 17, which still technically Accounts, grooming and some of the I'm gonna read up some of the messages here that has been released so dream sent what is up sexy she sent nothing much what about you Lamau. another dream sent can you get in you can get in the kitchen or the bedroom omg you're so welcome she said get bling ring ha 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 psych yes kitchen do you want the burnt quesadilla Dream sent, what the fuck? No, I want 5 star stuff. And it is 5 star. Or, Dream sent, JK, JK. She said, nah, you probably got the Rona. See you after quarantine. Haha. <laughs> Dream sent, you can get it from me, baby. <laughs> Slurp that Corona, yum coronavirus. She sent, oh, bet. And some really weird emojis. And is and quarantine will is bringing, be bringing the horny out of everyone. What the fuck? So. There was a lot more of messages, which these were only a few of them, and there's a lot more in this situation, but I'm gonna say this as a commentary channel. I'm gonna... Firstly, the we don't know how valid these claims are. They could be faked, but she sent from a video, and it was the, uh, the real dream profile, on Instagram at least, where they texted a little bit, and then SMS, but a lot more could be going on here and we are not too sure. However, if I was a 20 year old channel with a lot of fans, which I wish I have, um, by the way, I'll launch a Discord server at 50 subscribers. Let's go with that. And the whole thing is that if I was 20 and a 17 year old started texting me with me, when I, when I, if I would find out she was 17, I would stop texting with her because firstly, Dream, he's in kind of a power position. He is an adult and he is a big YouTuber. And I don't think I need to talk too much about the situation. I highly recommend checking out Optimus' video on the topic. And Jaden also made a video about it, which I also recommend checking out, you know. Do you make your own claims about this? I think that this was wrong. And if this is real, which I hope it is not. But if it is, then I wish Anastasia the best. And I hope that this might cancel Dream if it is real. Let's move on to the next situation we're going to talk about. Um, for the longest of time, Discord predator hunting and catching creeps on Discord and all that stuff has been a big subgenre of YouTube. And of course, YouTube dislikes this, which I think is fucked up. But yeah, a recent a channel who has been doing really doing a lot of work against creeps on the internet has been Jessica who has made multiple videos of showing the dark depths of the internet, pedos and all that stuff. But Jessica recently made a video called Challenge Gate, the darkest, U darkest YouTube rabbit hole, which showed adult men telling young girls to do different challenges. And most of them got really sexual and a lot of that stuff. And all of these videos that Jessica showed are up on YouTube. You can find them just by quick YouTube search. However, when Jessica uploaded her video, it got taken down for showing sexual content. And I'm gonna s and I'm sitting here like, what did the actual fuck is wrong with YouTube when they allowed the people who do it themselves to post it, but not a person trying to 
get a hold of this situation and stop it and maybe help people stop it and spread information about it. This is far from the first time YouTube has been actively working against predator hunters and people who bring this situation to the light. Back for many, many months ago, I think it even was over a year ago, one of my then favorite YouTubers, Pixelprize, sent put out a video on how his channel got age or how, on a, how his channel got completely demonetized for making predator hunting. And this video was released back in December of 2020. And for those of you who are unaware, Pixelprize was the first big predator hunter on YouTube. He's the Chris Hansen of YouTube, so to say. And he did his Discord predator hunting videos and brought light to the situation. However, YouTube decided to remove those videos and try and, you know, put it down as much as possible, which I think is personally really fun. But yeah, both Jessica and Big Surprise and all these not too big but not too small channels that have gotten in a situation, they're between like 100 and 300 thousand subscribers, 400 thousand subscribers in. These channels, they bring serious topics into the light and show them and all that. And from a guy who almost actually ran into the Predator on another platform. This is important shit that needs to come out. We need to talk about this. We need to show the real world what creeps reside in it. We need to do this a lot more. I hope that this video will reach the public. I hope that we will all, you know, be able to actually learn from the situation and that YouTube will stop trying to shut this. So until next time, my name is Khan Commentary, talking about how YouTube almost promoting Predators and signing out. And also the situation. Have a good one, folks.